How old should a kid be before they get their own smartphone? Boy, there's a question I've thought about a lot, especially when my oldest daughter hit middle school. I had a ton of self-righteous ideas that I was very happy to share with anyone who would listen. Because of my job, I even got to write about them and give speeches about them in front of thousands of people. When I put my foot in my mouth, I don't like to do it in a small way. I go all in. I honestly thought that we probably wouldn't get Ellie a phone until she was in the ninth grade. That seemed like the best age, and I was so judgmental about anyone who disagreed. It's so easy to have lots of thoughts about the best way to raise a middle schooler right up until you actually have a middle schooler. No phone until high school, I proclaimed. Unfortunately, I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. My oldest daughter got a phone on her 12th birthday. That is much, much earlier than I anticipated. Why did she get one then? Well, one thing really changed the whole situation for me. Ellie, my oldest daughter, is in an awesome small group with our church. Over the years, she has really grown to love that group of girls. They've become some of her best friends. One night, my wife said, it's too bad Ellie doesn't get all those encouraging texts from her small group all week long. I didn't know what she meant, and I asked her to clarify. Well, she said, all week, every other girl in the group is connected to a group text. They send Bible verses and jokes and encouragement. Since Ellie doesn't have a phone, and she's the only one without one, she misses that community. By refusing to allow her to get a phone, I was significantly removing her ability to communicate with all her friends. Teenagers are already prone to isolation. They don't need another reason to be disconnected. My main problem was that I was judging my daughter's adolescence based on mine. I thought, her friends can just call us on our house phone. What a stupid, stupid thought. Kids don't use the phone that way. They don't call each other. I've maybe seen my daughter have five phone calls in her life. It's text or nothing. I still remember when she was 10 years old and picked up our house phone that we had at the time. And Ellie said, Dad, what's that? What's that noise? She didn't even know what a dial tone was. Remember dial tones? Oh, how quaint. I bet you don't say the phrase nights and weekends anymore either. That used to be the most important phrase. If a friend called you at 6.55 p.m., you'd pick up your phone and be like, my nights don't start until 7 p.m. Why do you hate me so much? Call back, click. Suddenly, after talking with my wife, the phone wasn't a demonic distraction that would whisk my innocent daughter into a digital wasteland where teens get into trouble. It was a connection point, and that changed things. Does that mean every kid should get a phone at 12? Nope. I don't think every kid is the same. I really don't. I think some are ready at 12 and some aren't. Each kid matures differently. It's like my friend Kristen Ivey says, not every kid should get their driver's license at the same exact time. Some kids are born mature. They come into the world with, with responsibility, patience, and wisdom. They've got a small business at six, a savings account at seven, and actually park their bike with the kickstand when they get somewhere instead of just ghost riding it into a clump. Have you ever done that? Oh, man. Does it feel great? You step off that bike while it's still in motion and you... You just let gravity do its thing. That bike is in the Lord's hands now. Oof. Some kids are mature. Other kids are like me. I wasn't ready for a car. I was a knucklehead, a word I'm trying to bring back, along with ding dong. Like, he's a ding dong and the word joshing. When's the last time instead of saying, <clears throat> I was just kidding, you said, I was just joshing. Try it out. It's fantastic. We've all seen a 16-year-old and thought, I feel like you should get your driver's license at maybe 25 years old. The same goes for cell phones. But if your kid is ready for a phone, it can be wonderful. As a dad, I've been thrilled at the connection it's become for us. Ellie sends me jokes and memes she sees. She texts me out of the blue. In addition to all the updates on where she is or if she made it to her friend's house, I get to know her personality in some really fun ways because of her phone. And to be clear, don't think that getting a phone means getting full access to social media. When we gave Ellie her phone, she didn't get to use Instagram, TikTok, or any other social media sites. I don't care what age they are, no kid is ready for a whole phone all at once. That's like transitioning them from a bicycle to a Ferrari and then being surprised when they wrap it around a tree. I'll do a whole other video on how old a kid should be when they get social media. But here's the thing, if you're a parent, the phone conversation is headed your way. 
The age of 12 worked for us. Maybe 14 will work better for you. Time will tell. But please know that it's not nearly as bad as you think. Your kid's first phone could be a wonderful experience if you're deliberate about it. Fear no phone. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss the next one. And thanks for subscribing to my channel. I'll keep making these if you keep watching.